So, uh, it's a nice young man helping me um, with yard work. And I was inside the house and he came in and said the bees were going crazy. And I already put up one video of the bees swarming where they were actually all over the yard. But I could see that the cloud was kind of moving in this general direction. And now I've actually gone ahead and placed a box here and hopefully they'll move into it. But I'm gonna to try to get as close as I can to this swarm ball without disturbing it. It's right here in this olive tree and it's huge. It is one big massive ball. So I'm hoping they'll just move downward because they kept moving across the yard and they were actually going further than this. But then when I put the box here, you can see bees are coming in and inspecting the box. You can see them flying in and out of it, checking it out. And they'll go back and they'll tell the rest of the group, the rest of the ladies, what's going on. I may have to grab a ladder and a set of loppers and cut the branch off. Hopefully it's a small enough branch I can just cut the branch off and then I'll just put it right in the box. So that's about half of my hive. I'm really at a bad angle here with the sunlight. I don't want to disturb this box here too much though. One nice thing about when bees are swarming, you really don't get stung. Because they're more interested in what they're doing. So there it is. You can see there's a whole branch just absolutely covered. So I really want to get that queen to come down into this box. And if the bees will do that on their own, that's awesome. Now I'm also seeing, you see, it's, it's kind of broken up. I want it to condense more so I know exactly where she is. I'm actually gonna give my mentor a call and uh, see if I can elicit some advice from him. This is the first time I've actually caught my own hive swarming. I've captured other swarms before and extracted a swarm from a wall. But I've never seen my own hive swarm. Because usually I split my hive because I've constantly lost a hive every year uh, for one reason or another, usually to um, parasites. But uh, this year I did not split it and I didn't have one move in. Uh, the last two times when a swarm moved into the empty hive on its own, uh, it was not mine. It was clearly a different uh, type of bee. You can, you can tell the difference. So I would really like, this has been a good hive. I've had this one for five or six years now and I'd really like to keep this one going. All right, well, I probably can handle this on my own without calling Peter. See how they're not forming into a single ball. i gonna get my ladder. Uh, apologize for my camera work. Yeah, you mind getting that for me, Chris? So Chris might actually become a cameraman. So if I cut the tree, I would be cutting the tree with loppers. I would hold the branch steady, cut the branch off and move the ball down. I'm just hoping that they'll go into it. Um, I mean, I've actually seen situations where there was a swarm like this, just put a cardboard box underneath it and shake the tree and they all fall into the box. 
the queen has chosen this spot to sit right now and they are all protecting her and they're all swarming around her. Here, let's uh, bring it over here, Chris. So I do have a suit. I, 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 I don't need to put the suit on. Okay, this is not a situation where you need a suit. Um, because all they're doing is protecting them. Okay, I'm actually gonna set the camera down for a minute. My apologies, we'll just let it take a look right inside the hive. If I decide that I'm going to do some cutting or anything. Okay. All right. And make sure this is nice and steady. I'm actually in my own little pond, which needs to be cleaned out for the spring. Okay. Yeah, this is quite a ball. It's probably 20,000 plus bees. <laughs> so I had one land on me and I just blew it off. You just Moving slow is all that really matters. I do have a full suit. I do have an extra hood for the kid. And for those that haven't seen before, if you go back through my archives, you'll find a photo of what it looks like when I get stung on the bottom of my nose. My face swells up. Yeah. I really need this ball to condense down more. Okay, this is, oh, this is a branch I can easily cut. Yeah, it's only one inch. So I have a set of loppers. Well, what shall we do? <laughs> See, they keep checking it out. There's some in here checking it out. I guess if I got whatever that pheromone that she's releasing somehow and coated myself with it, I could wear all these bees. I wonder how much that weighs. They're definitely settling down and they're staying in this location. So I'm happy for that, that they're not moving farther away. This ladder is just, just a little short for what I want to do. I actually prefer to blow them off of me if they get on my arms in a place where I can just blow them off rather than flick them. I don't want to injure them. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to stop streaming for a minute. I'm going to call my mentor and get his advice on what I should do here. I'll be back on in a little bit. Thanks for watching. Enjoy yourself, ride her out.